99X, it's Barnes and Leslie hanging out with the Indigo Girls. Amy and Emily are here enjoying meeting you for the first time. I, sadly, it's crazy to me that we've never had you on, but it's been a blast to get to know you. I love the fact that you've never stopped making music, whether it's Indigo Girls or solo. What is the process for writing for the Indigo Girls? Is it where you guys are just like, okay, now it's time to sit down and work on some, What is the actual process? What is the magic behind all of this? Well, I mean, sometimes we know that we have sort of an album brewing on the horizon, like we're sort of strategic about when we have the time to release. It's been a busy year, so for us it's going to be a little chunk of time until the next one. But so, in other words, we'll start to sit down and write, sort of write all the time. But really, writing has become a discipline. It's like a job. You go down to your room and you sit and you write and you make the time and you edit and all that. And then when Amy and I have some songs... And we're getting ready to learn them for the album. We go to her house or she comes to mine. And then we just have a brainstorming session. Whoever wrote the song kind of gets the veto power on the ideas in the end. But really, we've never been able to really write together. But we've always been able to arrange each other's songs together. So that's kind of when the magic happens. I always feel that what Amy adds to my songs makes it the best version of the song it can be. And I, I really love Amy's songwriting. So it's just a wonderful way to live this full musical life that's just not all about your writing and your ideas. As a duo, though, what's wild is if you both lost the hunger for it, for doing this, it would be trouble. Or one of you, if one of you (laughs) lost, you know what I mean? Like if one of you is like, I'm just not feeling it, you know, like it's like, wait a minute. So it's, it's amazing. You still have the love for this as you did when it all began. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we just we take breaks, you know, I mean, we Right, do our own thing, and I think we just know what's going to keep it alive, yeah. you know. And, and we have a lot of respect for the duo as an entity, you know, as, on, yeah. of itself, you know, and how to just maintain that. And we're lucky. We're just like we're lucky. You got to have gratitude for a career this long. And well, I use you guys as an example a lot. A lot of young artists now having to try to have a career in the day and age of social media and how tough that is for your mental well-being. But I always tell people, like, you know, find your community because you guys talk about community a lot and pay it forward. You know, take take the spotlight off yourself and pay it forward, which you've done your entire career. And I think that's just a testament to part of the longevity of the Indigo Girl. So thank you for that. Well, this community has supported us. I mean, Georgia music is incredible. It's really our jam, getting together with other people, lifting up each other's music. Mm-hmm. And it's just the the spirit that we grew up out of and the spirit that we just that keeps us alive. It's not really any kind of like conscious thing. It's just where we want to be. Thank you so much for coming on. Such an honor to have you guys on. Thank you. Barnes and Leslie, appreciate it. Thanks for having us. 